let me try this one more time guys uh between my phone and everything else going on i've had a hard time so anyway i have decided that i'm going to finish off my top five fall fragrances and finish reviewing those so today we're going to start with number five uh, i've already done one or two so if you guys watched that video you know number five is versace the dreamer now guys if your box does not look like this one and it looks like this that is perfectly okay because they changed the packaging not a big deal now this fragrance came out in 1996 it was versace's last fragrance before he was murdered here's your box the atomizer is actually the cap medusa head engraved in is what i hear is engraved but when you actually look at it it looks like it is glued on somehow but it is an engraved piece of glass by itself um six digit code be right there on the bottom i don't know if you guys can see it but it's right there um top notes on this juniper lily middle notes iris base or tobacco amber and targa now this can be a very very strong scent when you first put this on i get this crazy rubber burning smell hard to explain but if you've ever tried it you do know what i'm talking about um it can be very cloying easy does it on the trigger this is one of those less is more fragrances by far um let's see it is a great romantic and a great date scent now again less is more trust me if you put too much of this stuff on you're gonna have to go take another shower slash bath whatever your preference is and get it off and try again um for me guys I've heard anybody say three. I've even heard four sprays on this, and they're good. For me, I, I'm two sprays. I hold it about eight inches away, hit the middle of the neck, then I one on the wrist, tap, and it's over with. I am done. I'm good for the whole night. Um, when you first put this on, though, like I said, it, it can be very cloying, so be careful. A lot of people can't get past the top notes on this. Um, if you can't stand that strong flowery rubbery smell you're probably not going to give it a chance to turn into what it can be because believe me you guys you, you do have to wait about 45 minutes to an hour before it gets to the best part of this scent now some people have said well it's a rumor going around that this is going to be discontinued um i have noticed a lot of department stores around here are not carrying it anymore only like perfume manias and things to that extent now, I have not seen this in any bargain bins yet, at like your TJ Maxx, your Marshalls, uh, Ross, and things like that. So, I don't think it's going to be completely discontinued. What I actually believe is that they were getting rid of the old bottle packaging, switching over to the new bottle. Now, there's also another rumor running around that they are getting rid of the Dreamer, and they're going to re-release this fragrance, but they're going to re-release it as something else without the strong top uh, whether that's true or not is yet to be determined i don't know there's so much fiction that runs around um god knows you you guys know all the stories we heard on pure malt you know it's going to come back as a, as a regular fragrance and all this and that now you get on fragrance net and they are completely sold out of bottles so anyway let's get on grading this bad boy Sillage on this is a nine. People will smell you with this one. Wherever you go, they will know that you have been there. Uh, longevity. Guys, I'm getting 10 plus out of this on two sprays. So, once again, a nine. Um, projection. Wow. When you first put it on, Projection is a monster. It could be a 20. Screw a 10. But as it starts to get a little closer to the skin, an hour or two into it, uh, I give it a 9. Still got your a nice little bubble. Trust me, you are going to have a bubble. 
but it's not so far out there that you're going to kill anybody unless you go heavy on the trigger. Don't screw that up. People will not like you. Um, overall sin on this, to me, I actually love that rubber opening, that real synthetic blast of, you know, what in the hell is that? I like it a lot. So, for me, the scent all the way around is a 9. Can't give it a 10 because it's not quite there, but it is very nice. Um, so my overall, I guess you guys can pretty much figure out what number that's going to be. A 9. Um, buy, try, pass. This is a try because there's no way this is going to be for everybody. It's just not going to happen. Um, as great as it is, a lot of people aren't going to be able to get past that top note. If you can't get past the top of Amen, you're going to have a hard time getting past the top of this. Just like Fahrenheit Absolute. If you can't get past the beginning of that, you're going to have a, you know, you're not even going to make it past this. It's just not going to happen. Um, so it's a definite try. You guys go out, give it a shot. If you can find somewhere with it, if you guys have a perky mania close to you, uh, definitely check it out. I haven't seen it at Nordstrom anymore. Um, all they've had in there lately have been Versace Man. Uh, Mantle Fresh, and of course, Pour Home. I love that stuff. But uh, I haven't seen it anywhere but Perfume Mania and online. This bottle here, you can find for around $40. Um, a lot of people are swapping this, though. It's on the swap fairs quite often, and you can usually catch it for something pretty decent because uh, a lot of the younger kids are getting it. I, I believe they're bu blind buying it, and they're not trying it because it is so hyped up it's been reviewed to death so uh, they're getting it and I don't think they can get past the top notes to get anywhere else and a lot of the noses just haven't matured enough yet uh, I'm sure it will come around so you can catch on Brandon's swap thread guys cut the supreme SL uh, shoot over and check out that swap thread if you haven't I'm sure most of you guys have or if you can't find a sample of this guys uh, shoot me a I am and I will make sure you get one because I don't want anybody going out and blah blah this. Well, hope you guys have enjoyed. Thanks a lot, and we will catch you later.